I am Ranger Chuck Arney with the National Park Service here in the John H. Chafee Blackstone River Valley National Heritage Quarter. The quarter connects 24 cities and towns from Worcester, Massachusetts in the north to Providence, Rhode Island in the south. We tell the stories of working men and women, innovators and entrepreneurs, the Blackstone River and its environment, and the many cultures that make the Blackstone Valley such a rich place to tell America's story towards industrialization. So let's hear one of those stories by catching up with Ranger Terry Teller. Hi, I'm Terry Teller, a ranger for the John H. Chafee Blackstone River National Heritage Corridor, and I'm excited to be out in one of my favorite spots in the valley this morning. Um, behind me here is a field that has changed very much over the last few hundred years. Did you know that this site uh, used to be a dairy farm and pasture for the Lonsdale Company back in the 1800s? Later on, it also became a drive-in movie theater here in Lonsdale that served many thousands of people in the area and provided entertainment. But as you can see right now, the site has changed again, and it's actually been restored to a more natural use. Um, beginning in the late 90s, the state of Rhode Island purchased this property, and with the Department of Environmental Management, restarted the restoration process into an upland area as well as a wetland. So as you can see behind me, there's lots of tall grasses and plants. It's a haven for a lot of our songbirds and insects that do the work of pollination. Um, they love the diversity of plants here and you can literally get lost in the plants. Now we've just walked through that field of tall grasses and plants and now we're at the edge of the restoration site, actually at seven acres of restored wetlands. We have about half of the area that's um, considered an open water marsh as well as another half that's an emergent marsh. As you can see it's a really peaceful and quiet place, a good spot for animals um, and plants to thrive in this unique environment. Wetlands are really important to the health of the Blackstone River watershed. They filter out pollutants from the water that's running into the river. They provide habitat for lots of different species. And they actually provide a breeding ground for a lot of different fish, some of which migrate up from the Atlantic Ocean um, to spawn in the spring. And this restoration was the first part of a larger restoration effort that will eventually include fish ladders that are installed at some of the dams downstream um, and will allow fish like river herring and American shad to once again come up and spawn in wetlands like these. This has been Ranger Terry Teller coming to you from the Lonsdale Marsh along the Blackstone Valley Bikeway here in Lincoln, Rhode Island. I hope you've enjoyed exploring this restored habitat as much as I have today. With such a diversity of plants and wildlife, you never know what you might see. So grab your bike or your walking shoes and come join us here in exploring this fascinating part of the Blackstone Valley. Good morning.